what is up guys we are back again for another one and this one is going to be in the series that you guys seem to really love because you like them more than any of my other videos this is going to be a torture trials review and this one's probably going to piss a lot of people off because we are going to be doing a torture trials review on the legend the myth shinerbach now shinerbach is a Bach, okay? Bachs are of German origin. They're supposed to be, according to, almost dropped that bottle, that, that would have really sucked, but they are supposed to be, according to original brewing styles, a darker, sweeter, standard ale. Steinerbach, maybe. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that here in just a minute. Uh, like I said, I know it's going to piss quite a few of you guys off because a lot of you guys love Shinerbach and it probably throws into question why I'm doing a Torture Trials review of this beer because the channel is TX Beer Reviews. So that implies that I love Texas beer and truth be told, I do. And if you'll look right here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven Shiner beers all on display. So you're probably asking, well, if this beer is right here, then why? Why, oh, why would you do a torture trials review of a beer that's in your display? The reason for that is this beer gets way more credit than it deserves, and it's not as good as everybody likes to say it is. Now, when you ask the average Joe if they like dark beer. The first dark beer that they mention is Scheinerbach. And I'm not surprised by that because the average Joe doesn't have the palate or the knowledge or the care that us craft beer guys do. But they'll say, oh yeah, dude, I love dark beer. I love Scheinerbach. Oh my gosh. But then you ask them, what about Guinness or left-handed nitro milk stout or Dogfish Heads IPA? or the stone IPA, and they're like, huh, what? So, I think it gets way more credit than it deserves. Now, it is brewed in Shiner, Texas, so it's a Texas beer. I will be setting all biases aside that I hold for Texas beers and for Shiner as a brewing company in general for this Torture Trials review, and we are going to tear into this one. And who knows, maybe it will be the king of the torture trials. Maybe it'll just be a eh, uh, uh, maybe. Who knows? But we are going to find out, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we are going to do this one in the sacrificial glass, the craft beer holiday gift glass that every single beer enthusiast's unknowing relative gets them at Christmas because they're like, oh, you like craft beer, here you go. Let's go ahead and crack this guy open. Twist top, nothing fancy. There we go. Give this guy a pour. So, First thing, right off the rip, it looks like Coke. It's a little clearer than Coke, but it looks like Coke Cola. I tried to pour it aggressive there towards the end. Head is slowly dying on us, but there are a lot of fizzy bubbles down there at the bottom. Um, and uh, based on perspective, the last couple of videos that I've load, uploaded and this one, I did get a holder and a lighting rig. I've been playing with the lighting. You guys let me know what you like the best. This is still 4K 60 frames a second. So if you don't like this shot, the angle, the lighting, I have the overhead fluorescent lighting turned off because that thing is powerful. I have the light on this jig set as close to match the warmth of that light as I can possibly get it. So if you like it, great. If not, let me know what I need to change. So. Let's get a nose on this Shinerbach and I'll tell you just how bad it sucks. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> yeah. 
So, this beer is a Bach brewed in the American style, which kind of pisses me off, I'm not going to lie. Because if you're going to brew a beer in a certain style, at least pay homage to the style that you're brewing it in. If you're going to do... Fuck. If you're going to do a West Coast IPA, pay homage to the West Coast IPAs. It's okay to be different. But when you totally ignore everything that the beer style is supposed to be about, short of the color, then there's no point in calling it what it is. You know, walk like a duck, quack like a duck. It's a duck. Okay? This does not walk like a bock or quack like a bock. But it looks an awfully lot like a bock. And actions speak louder than words, right? So everything that they print on this stupid bottle means absolutely zilch when you get the beer in your mouth or you smell the beer because it doesn't freaking smell like a bock. Right here, we have a chocolate bock and a chocolate bock done by Sam Adams. And those two bocks are way, way better than Shinerbach, hands down, okay? Now, for the nose, all I get is corn, and I hate it. Corn and carbonation, it's fucking stupid. If you're gonna be something, be what you're trying to be. It doesn't smell like a bock, there's no roastiness there. It's supposed to be a standard ale that is darker, roastier, and sweeter, and it's not. It smells like corn, and carbonated water. And it freaking pisses me off. The head is completely gone. And I did, towards the end, try to pour it hard so that we could get some head. <laughs> but it's gone. So let's get a flavor on this garbage. Fucking corn smell. Wears me out. God. So for flavors. <sighs> it's supposed to be a sweeter ale. Okay. And it's not. At the beginning, there is some barley malt. In the aftertaste, there is some barley malt. But there is a huge presence of corn in this beer. And I get that corn is readily available in Texas, but fuck if Pondicetta Brewing Company in Emerald, Texas can make a coffee brunch ale and make it absolutely epic. And they can make their premier cowboy beer with corn from Texas and make it taste amazing. Why the fuck can Shiner not fork over the extra dough to refine their brewing process, take it back to the way that it was, freaking 40 years ago, and quit cutting fucking corners. <clears throat> so, again, you get a little bit of barley milk. That's a breadiness. Not bad. Then it's corn. And it's not even hot bitterness. It's carbonation bitterness. And it pisses me off. It's just wham, wham, wham. There's no flow. There's no taper. It's barley milk. Corn. Carbonation bitterness. It's like looking at a bar graph, not a flow chart, and it fucking pisses me off. Mouthfeel is heavy and slippery. The only thing that saves this beer is the finish is crisp, and that is solely because of the carbonation that is in this beer. It's very carbonated. Uh, on a hot day, if you're buying shit beer, Shinerbach is a good way to go. If you're going to barbecue, Shinerbach is a good way to go. If you're trying to <sighs> pretend to be more civilized and classy than you actually are with all your redneck buddies, buy Shinerbach, okay? But other than that, quit preaching it up to be this freaking god of all ales because it's not. It really is not. And what sucks 
is there are so many different beers that Shiner does that I would much rather drink. Like the Ruby Redbird, hands down, my favorite summer beer ever. It doesn't pretend to be anything that it's not. And when it's fucking hot as balls outside and we're swimming in the pool and I'm getting sunburned, that is my favorite beer to drink. If I'm out, I live in an apartment now, but when I had grass, when I was at a house, I had to mow the grass and I was done, freaking Ruby Redbird. Absolutely great when it's hot outside and you want something to drink. Ruby Redbird, Ruby Redbird is amazing. Their black lager is epic. The Haymaker is really good. The prickly pear, a lot of people don't like it, but I love the prickly pear. The Cosmos, very good. Light Wand, it's, in my opinion, it blows Miller Light out of the water. Uh, let's see, the Cold Brew Coffee Ale was actually really, really good. Does it come anywhere close to the Pondicetta Kobe Ale? No. But for a mass produced um, macro brewing company, they did a really good job with that one. Like, if they could take this cold brew coffee ale and substitute it in the box style, I think it would take down the same Adam's chocolate box because it was that good. But this one sucks for a box. It absolutely does. Absolutely does. And for Texas beers, it really fucking sucks. It is like, on my list of Texas beers, it ranks at the bottom because I will not go out of my way to buy it. If I'm in a cooler, okay, and I am staring at Yellow Bellies and Shinerbach, I will buy the Yellow Bellies all day and twice on Sunday. Coors Original wins hands down. If that tells you anything. And the body is so heavy. Like, if it were a lighter beer, as far as body and mouthfeel goes, then I would give it a pass on a lot of its mistakes. But it promises so much and leaves so much to be desired. And I hate it. I hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. And to be honest, I'm over being nice about this beer. I'm over it because it just, it's so sought after when it shouldn't be. And there are people that swear by it. Oh, good shutter buck. It's, it's a special occasion. Got to get the good stuff. Oh. You're wasting your fucking money, dude. Oh. You have so many better options for the price point. Like, if I was going to go ahead and buy a special occasion beer, and I didn't want to break the bank, Sam Adams Oktoberfest, very good, very, very good. The Sam Adams Amberbach, that one usually only comes around about Christmas time, but it's really good, and it's a fucking Bach. And it's pretty sad that Sam Adams can hit the nail on the head with their box. But Shinerbach. <sighs> Let's see. I don't have a lot of cheap beers up here, but I, fuck, I drink Guinness Extra Stout or Guinness Draft or Guinness Nitro Can all day and twice on Sunday before I would drink that. I drink the Sierra Nevada 40th Anniversary Ale over that. I drink New Belgium. Um, let's see, the, uh, the Fat Tire. That is an epic beer for the money compared to this. This is... Let's go ahead and finish this off so I can fucking give it a rating and be done with this. Or the Revolver Bach by Revolver Brewing Company. That's another good Bach. Fuck, I didn't realize I had so many Bachs up here. Damn. Huh. I guess I like Bachs. Not this one, though. Alright, Torture Trials Review. So, he gets one rating. 
against other Torch Trial beers. And I know I've mentioned a lot of different beers comparing the Schreinerbach to a lot of different beers. And Torture Trials is supposed to be set up to compare shit beers with shit beers. So, uh, people are going to say, well, it's not fair because you mentioned Samuel Adams. And they, there's three box in here. Chocolate box. Well, technically speaking, there's only two, two different bottles. But the Chocolate box, the Amber box, the Revolver box, Shiner box. Um, I think I have one more. No matter. All three of those, one, two, three, are macro brews. Okay, they're all conglomerates for the most part. So, would I put Sam Adams in a torture trial? Yeah, I would. Definitely. And it would probably win out in the torture trial because it's so good, but it is a masked, brewed, overhyped, overcredited beer. Same thing with Revolver. Um, so it's really not unfair for me to compare them because the styles are the same and because they're all macros. So argue with me in the comment section if you like. That's up to you. I'm going to give this one a D minus. And the only reason it's not getting an F, the only reason it's not getting an F is because it's not a malt liquor. It's not ultra high on ABV and it's drinkable. Okay. I think that less body would help the drinkability on this beer a lot. Oh. But the big misses and the unfulfilled promises and the stuff that it leads to be desired turns me off completely. So D minus, just a shade above an F. Uh. It barely passes. So yeah, I don't go out of my way to drink this. If somebody hands me one, I'm not going to say, whoa, no, I'll drink water. No, I'm going to drink a Schneiderbach, but I'm not going to sit there and brag about how fucking great it is either because it's not. It really isn't, you know. So D minus for Schneiderbach. If you don't like it, fight me. <laughs> I hate to be that way, but at the beginning of this video, I did say I was going to piss a lot of people off because that's their holy grail of beers. And I wish that they could open their eyes and their palate a little bit to some other options. Because for as shitty as Shinerbach is at being a Bach, and as shitty as Shiner is for marketing it as the best Bach, it is a step in the right direction towards more complex, heavier beers, because it does have more than just corn and alcohol, or corn and carbonation. There is some barley malt there that is darker than your Budweiser or your Coors Original, and if you get it out of a tap, there is some roastiness there. I've drank it out of the tap, and it's not horrible, so... I think that it could be the stepping stone for a lot of people, but they don't want to venture any further. They're like a little girl dipping their toe in the pool. Is it cold? Am I going to get wet? You know, <laughs> but it just sucks at trying to be what it claims to be. So D minus for Shinerbach. That's it for this one. We will see you guys in the next one. I have no clue what it's going to be, but I will concoct something and we'll do another one maybe it'll be another torch trial maybe i'll go out of my freaking way to find this stupid chocolate box again and we'll go head to head and do a head to head series because i haven't done one of those in a while and hell for the fuck of it we might just do a head to head torture trials and see who fucking wins i don't know you'll have to tune into the next one to find out we'll see you next time bye